Nakaribisha wageni watu wote. You are a visitor in this place. You are most welcome in Jesus name. Wale pia ambao pia they are on the road. You can uh, tune in even as you travel and uh, be uh, be part of us in this holy service. Nashukuru bwana pia kwa ajili ya siku hii ameifanya na ameniokoa. Bado nimeokoka. Yesu ni bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Huyu Kristo Yesu ananivanishia mema kila siku. So his grace is sufficient for my life. Someone glory be to Jesus. Nashukuru bwana kuwaona all our pastors who are coming keep coming please make the most you can make in the Lord's presence. Fanya bidii sana ukafaidika mbele za Bwana so kila mtu uchote vile unaweza chota is up to you praise god those of us online we welcome you tune in and uh, the lord bless you it is my prayer that the lord unite you in oneness of grace oneness of anointing oneness of power oneness of purpose just as it is in this place mara tena bwana tukuzwe nashukuru bwana kwa ajili ya unabii ambazo zimeenenda na zinatimika na inanitia moyo sana inanitia nguvu so i come in the strength of god and his word to share with us again prophecies of what god is revealing and the things god is purposing uh, to do over the republic and um, uh, today uh, we have confirmations of prophecies and warnings and judgments together with the revelations about kenya and um, thank god that uh, the lord has not sent his servant in vain kwamba Isaiah 44 verse number 26 the Lord confirmed the word of his servant as well as performance of the counsel of his messengers so that's Isaiah 44 um, verse number 26 kwamba Mungu yeye ni mwema analithibitisha neno la mtumishi wake na pia Mungu huyu anafanya uh, anafanyisha ushauri wa mjumbe wake so mimi ni mjumbe wa Bwana unabii hizi nikituma na zipeana na Mungu si si mdhalimu akafanya kuzidhalilisha he sent me and so he watches over his word and is granting performance someone praise god now on that note uh, tumeona hali za nchi vile ilivyo naomba wa Kenya kwenye watu ambao you give glory where it is due and you give a honor to god where it is due nyakati hizi ni nyakati ngumu sana ambazo tuliambiwa na bwana we were told of these times and uh, god opportunity me to be able to share with us this time some of them are two years old warnings and judgments that are two years some warnings are three years some prophets are now four years in fulfillment others are one year some are in months and uh, uh, without a doubt without a doubt god has been faithful to prove that he sent me and that law and that uh, uh, there are no mistakes Niliwaambia kuhusu hali za uchumi and we can see niliwaambia Kenya some of us look at the war at the YouTube um, that uh, serikali itakuwa na hali ya umasikini that the government will be broke so we have a regime that is broke and they keep saying they came in broke and uh, but I wonder the things they buy were they really broke Uh, to the truth be told we have thieves we have hyenas we have um, gluttonous elements in power na vile lejipata pale you can say it is god who gave you that so niliwaambia kwamba uchumi itakuwa mbaya without a doubt no one can uh, can challenge me on that because it has come to pass nikawaambia kwamba uh, uh, ili serikali hii ikapata ku yani kusimama jitihada zake za ku survive they have the actual institute um, pass legislation that are very uh, draconian as well as um, uh, taxes that are very punitive and uh, to, to to honor the lord it has come to pass today rutos taxes uh, are actually very punitive na baada niliwaambia muta lipa kodi watu ambao wasikiange go back to the youtube our channel um, there niliwaambia mtalipishwa kodi one on top of another and kenya will be amongst the nation that are oppressively taxed in the world and uh, it is now being fulfilled so mulidhani bado mulidhani mtakohoa taxes bado hoja mtaona zingine some of them will be very ridiculous i told you those things and so i'm just like repeating myself and uh, maybe someone will change your prayers how to pray that god will preserve you 
So Hebrews chapter number 10 verse number 13 Bible says that the righteous man shall live by his faith mtu wa haki ataishi kwa imani yake So this is a time that Mungu anajua walio wake God knows those who are his That's second Timothy chapter number 2 verse number 19 So Bible says that nevertheless the foundation of God standeth sure with this seal God knoweth them that are his Hallelujah so if you are the Lord, come away ni wabwana wesimama imara, jinsi ni nulaki nawe tuambia hapo, basi imamini kwa mba hali za kwa mahali ziwe mbaya kiasi gani, bado mungu ataku hifadhi. So we are those who believe God to the very end, and we believe that he shall preserve our lives. May that be unto you in Jesus' name. Nikawambie ni kwa mba uh, uh, mutawana hali za serikali kuwacheza shere. And I give that prophecy some time back before uh, the elections that um, uh, if you set off for a novice, if it happens that you'll have a novice for a king, then you shall harvest uh, flatteries. That's Isaiah chapter number 3, verses number 4. And Isaiah chapter 3, who went to a nation whose kings are babies, or whose babies uh, are the kings and uh, their princes are children. So ole wao inchi ya watu wale ambao mfalme wao eh, ni mtoto. Eh? Wafalme wao ni watoto. Walio mamlakani ni watoto. So we are seeing that Isaiah 3 verse number 4. Playing in the nation before our eyes. And uh, right now you have had a regime that uh, plays with you poker. They play with you drama. They play with you comedy. Yeah, they say they are broke, but look at uh, uh, what the government is doing with the punitive taxes they are taxing you. They'll just enrich themselves. They'll just be enriching themselves, but impoverishing, uh, impoverishing those who are poor. Iyo mutaraji, mana, you did not do anything about it. You ought to have prayed, you did not. You ought to have cried to God, amukulia. You ought to have cried unto the Lord God, you have not done so. The day mutafanya maombezi zenyu na kilio kwa buwana. Diyo halenyu itabadilika. But at the moment, bado mnakaosha viboko kichapa. Sema si kitu. Si kitu. So endeleeni kukaosha viboko. But the government is a government that is broke. But again, they are very opulent. They are extravagant. They buy, they invest in useless things. They do things that are ridiculous with your monies. But at the same time, they are enriching themselves. That one is Isaiah 3 verse number 4. Then I also gave a warning. And wakati uh, kulukwa na hali za mandamano, we had those uh, mandamanos demonstrations in Nairobi. Then uh, the Kenyan police became so zealous. They became massacres. And uh, they massacred some people in Nairobi, bloodshed in Kisumu and part of Mombasa and nationwide. And uh, because the king uh, bragged that what they did was right. So they slaughtered the people with their zeal. Kondele, those places in Nyalenda, and uh, Nairobi slums of Madare, and uh, Kibera, and those places we can remember Babadogo. And then they did in Mombasa, and then parts of Nakuru. Bloodshed. Nikawambia, amuta escape. And I, I spoke a curse the police mutaji mutalipa na damu i told them mutalipa na damu until uh, those uh, wakuwa serikali you go back to the families that were slaughtered their kings you appease them hiyo si ya binguni hiyo ni hapa you sought with them much watu wajane people who are fatherless people who are just skills families that are left in poverty because policemen forgot their jobs and they, be, they turned out to be like hired assassins. Because you shed blood, you shall die by sword or by bullets. And uh, they, so someone tell Kindiki, they took it lightly. Mutalipa, mutazidikulipa. So what have you been seeing? Police, but wana kufa. Na muta kufa sana. Wambini manabiwenyo hawa mnatuanga maeneo, wende wageuze hiyo. But as surely as the Lord lives, if you kill by the sword, you die by the sword. You kill by the bullet, you die by the bullet. And so, bloodshed, mulimwanga damu ya watu. 
mutakamuliwa damu yenu so i want the government that they should do something quickly and uh, if you cover it under you know you cover up these of if you want to you covered it have you succeeded to cover it up but the heaven tells me that uh, you have a case for answer and so askari what a police ambao mnanisikiza uh, if you are hired to serve serve without shedding blood of innocent people innocent souls don't deserve to die right now angalia huu nabii tangu nilishiriki are you not dying whether in lamu mombasa eh garisa coast province you're dying and now i told you about baringo na the pass of turkana is a area i want the government to bad mutakufa and i want them about banditry and insecurity these are prophecies that are coming into fulfillment na tell kindiki hata molete hizo ahmad vehicles mnaletanga eh eh gadhabu na hukumu ya Mungu inapinduliwa tu na nyinyi kutubu it will not end to be another capedo after another capedo if not capedo to be somewhere else eh uh, shida imo katika eh uh, serikali inapenda kumwaga damu na inaandika polisi ambao wanapenda kumwaga damu you keep killing people Do you think God is dead? Sasa ndo mnaona hali hizo. I told the government about uh, uh, areas in Kenya and I gave I volunteered to tell the security operators 25 hotspots. You call them hotspots. Mimi niliona kiroka nikamwambia itagonga pale, gonge pale, gonge pale with the precision all the places I mentioned kumalipuka. And they are either banditry in security or they are crime uh, they are gang uh, gangs that um, are actually uh, involved in crime now there is actually a resurgence of gangs criminal gangs niliambia serikali so any sis you are paid for that mimi yangu ni mungu ananisaidia nikawaambia but the glory of god uh, he has confirmed his word by my mouth so you see the government investing money in things rather than go humble themselves and repent you all apology to families that were deceased families that were massacred and even such policemen that were involved in such um, heinous crimes they ought to be prosecuted that one has not been done so you'll continue witnessing bloodshed and um, then also we have um, i told you about strikes that even if um, they end up uh, ensnaring Raila Odinga they ensnare him so that uh, they always see that is the mandamano man i told you that um, with or without raila in the ring there will be mandamanos in this nation that will be triggered by people who are hungry distressed hopeless and despondent whatever wenyewe and i told the government that uh, be careful you shall have a police force that will actually uh, Uh, put down their tools of service they will not use them for what is good they'll use them for criminality i warned that one some two years ago and i told you that uh, the government will be so broke that it will be unable to pay uh, dues to police force and to the armed forces that will be the last stroke and uh, whereas we have seen the Uh, your captain and his regime they are a bit smarter in uh, ensuring that all the money is now enter one pot yes all the money is enter one pot but the question is this what are you doing with the money so i told you kwamba serikali tangangana na kulipa wafanyikazi wake madaktari walimu they'll be on strike it will be one strike after another wakimaza na walimu hivi utasikia wa madaktari wakimaza na madaktari hivi utasikia uh, majeshi itaenda hivi utasikia manunguniko kwa civil service these things are not new i told you these things uh, many months uh, several years back and today they are being fulfilled so you have a regime whose civil servants are actually oppressed and no wonder they take bribes and they still at any given opportunity they will still because also they are presided over by commissions that are uh, are also thieves and leadership that are also thief so is a nation that uh, a nation of uh, dog eat another dog world man eat another man world then also i warned about um, the 
betrayal. Uh, we know that um, the current captain, they entered into kangaroo agreements with the Mount Kenya clergy. And Nairobi clergy. Actually, Mount Kenya was the bulk of it. Their pastors sold Mount Kenya and they purported to have sold the church to have sold the nation as well. So they entered some agreement, MOU, uh, called the Memorandum of Understandings, which uh, right now I told you that those memorandums of understanding will turn out to be memorandums of misunderstandings. Ask them. And I told you that um, the same regime will lock the gates of State House and the very pastors who used to eat mandazi and biscuits in State House will be nowhere to be seen along State House. Because security will be, uh, will be beefed up and they'll be rendered persona non gratis around State House. Well, it has happened so faster than I can imagine. The prophet is about eight months now, and uh, you see what? Uh, Atta Mandazi State House Akuna. Betrayals. Leombia Watakosana. Paka the clergy will actually regret. Why did we even sell this man to be the king? Why did we, did we campaign for him to be president? Why did we even try to uh, spiritualize him, make him look like he's palatable and votable? Are they not right now complaining? Are not the same, same clergy, the ones now, calling the same, same king uh, a demon, a devil, a witch. They are calling him all kinds of names. God sits in the heaven and he oversees the affairs on earth. Nothing bypasses him. And uh, when he revealed to me, nearly one beer. So, um, I don't know whether I, I should say I'm happy or I'm not happy, but I'm not happy. Because this nation will only be very happy when the will of God eventually is done and the countdown continues. So the church will be betrayed by the state. And look at what the state is doing. The state is picking, picking those ones who can, uh, you know, those ones who can ride on its back. And Lambia uh, Mount Kenya, the clergy and Bamuli sign MOU. Mungu atawapiga. Mungu wa Ibrahimu, Mungu wa Jacobo na Isaka, Mungu wa Israeli, ni Mungu ambaye halalingi na hapendi hujuma na hapendi hali ambazo zilifanywa Kenya madhabahu za giza zilichukuzwa sana. Ni wakati wa malipo. Na I'm telling you if your brother is a pastor around that place and uh, alikula na serikali na alikula kula serikali atahara na serikali. Kuna wakati wa kukula, kuna wakati wa kuhara. How my pastor, how my bishop, how can I learn? Mutahara ili nyimbao ni non-stop. Na ni mesema yo from this place because niliambio ni wambia. You shall go through a hard time. God will afflict you so, so much. Nika wambia ukiona serikali na pitia miyoto miyoto. How my pastor mjichungi na manabihawa. You are next. So I talked about twin judgment. That twin judgment is taking its place and it's continuing. And that's how we see Unaona Wanalia all around. Told you about a dog turning around to maul and devour his own puppies. Told that that will actually what your king shall become. He shall become one that devoureth its own puppies. Are you not seeing it now? It is happening. All he wanted is persons to use to climb over. And so judiciary and also parliamentarians, we cannot trust them. There is no legitimate leadership in this nation. Whether executive, legislative, or judiciary, all of them, none of them sit square right. We have a judicial system that is full of thieves. They are corn fellows. Actually, they are supreme robbers. That's what they should be called. And they keep returning someone and bless them. Oh, we bless supreme. There's no blessing for the supreme, supreme uh, judiciary. There's no blessing. These are persons who are actually um, rubber stamping injustice. 
But one day, the Lord Jehovah is visiting Kenya with a lot of judgment. Now, as that Mungu alisahau, Mungu ajasahau na ajasahaulika. The same with the parliament. It's just a house of unhonorables. A house of unhonorables. Ni nyumba ya watu wasiwe na heshima. Those are your kings. Those are your princess. Mutakulanga sarakasi. And that applies also to the executive. Look at all the, you know, just comedy. There's nothing there. Only we are fed with the shows. I'm longing the day the judgment of God will shake the nation Kenya. He pepete Kenya baki kama kitambara. Nangoja sana. Na inakuja kupepetua sana. And um, Bible tells me something I need to read for you. Isaiah chapter 4 and verse number 2. And I'm talking about Kenya's deaths of clergymen. Even as the church goes, I mean, church page begins to unfold. So in line with that one, there is a purging of the church. A purging of the church that is unfolding. But the key mark of it is the death of the clergy. Now, Bible tells me in Isaiah chapter number 4 and uh, uh, verses number verse number 2 is yet to come. So we are not yet as a nation in verse number 2. But um, for the promise of revival in verse number 2 to come, which of course says, in that day shall the branch of the Lord be beautiful and glorious. That connotes revival. And the fruit of the earth shall be excellent and comely for them that are escaped of Israel. That talks about the remnants. The escaped in Kenya. So the Bible says, And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion and he that remaineth in Jerusalem shall be called holy. Even everyone that is written amongst the living in Jerusalem. Talks about the remnants. Iyo siku tunangoja ifike. Na itafika. I don't know whether you'll be there. But before it comes to pass, verse number four will have to take place. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of of burning. Mark those ones. For the nation Kenya to receive revival. For the nation Kenya to experience restoration, which I told you, it won't be now. It won't be in the next seven years either. I told you it will take you 14 years. 14 years, I said that some of those championing, uh, those the clergy right now that are uh, Supporting that they have revival, they won't even be part of it. They won't see it. Some of them, God will kill them before that time reaches. And so the Lord said, There will be a purge when the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion. So, Kuna Utakaso, Kuna Jinsi Mungu, Ata Itakasa, Kenya, Na Utakaso Waki Simaj, Nimoto, Nimoto. And shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment. So, kuna roo wa hukumu wa buwana. Na roo wa kuteketeza. Roo wa mba unachoma. Roo wa kuangamiza. Kiswali ngetua saftafsi hiyo kamili kisema hivi. Kwamba. Aiza anina msiru wa ne kisema hivi. Hapo buwana atakapokuwa, hamewosha uchafu wa huo binti, hao binti wa zayuni, na kuisafisha damu ya Yerusalemu kati yake. Kwa roo ya hukumu, na kwa roo ya kuteketeza. So, that's a spirit of burning. Na manabia hawa mba munga na watumia katika alizo, ni manabia mba watakuwa na unge tu moto. So, sisi ni kwa kisha tu moto yungwe. We speak fire. We speak fire. We speak fire. So there's a spirit of judgment. 
ambao Mungu amewaachilia juu ya taifa la Kenya. Wakati nilisema hii judgment kuna manabi wengine na mabishop wakasema hakuna. Hakuna. In fact, hawa manabi na hawa mi hawa maaskofu Mungu hawatoi kwa madhabahu na moto wasihubirie mtu yeyote. Na Mungu atawatoa. So what will you experience as a nation? Mutaanza kuona vifo vya watumishi. Kenya will begin to witness deaths of clergymen. And I told you this one that uh, for the next seven years kutakuwa na vifo vyao especially mtashanga sana why are they dying like this please when they start dying don't be shocked i've told you it is not certain that it's killing them it is a judgment mungu ameamua na niliwaambia this thing some time back nikawaambia huko nyuma nyuma unabii labda ni miaka miwili sasa nikarudia tena mwaka wa mwaka mwingine sasa nairudia kwenu Mungu atafanya kuwaondoa mata yao Mungu anazima vile vyao Mungu anatoa na madhabahu zao Mungu anazikatakata they will not serve God they have been found wanting watangolewa na kurushwa mbali so katika hali ya kanisa kama kanisa itatumika na Mungu katika hali ya uvuvuo it is not the way it is now jinsi kanisa ilivyo sasa ina maozo the church is rotten the clergy are rotten they can't become a vehicle for god to use for revival so revival is birthed and unfortunately they can't be vessels to birth revival because god has rejected them they are rejected if someone doubts that god can reject anybody please ask apostle paul and they made it clear for us in 2 Corinthians should be chapter number 13 and verses number number 5 and number 6 and maybe number 7 so 2 Corinthians 13 uh, we see god apostle paul confirms that uh, even those who purported to have known god can reach a point that they are rejected why they will be rejected because of what because of their betraying covenant. So Bible says that uh, please my mic someone I don't like to hear the whizzing sound. Examine yourselves whether you be in the faith. Hallelujah. Good. Hallelujah. So Bible says examine yourself to prove whether you're still in the faith. Prove your own self so you must prove yourself. Know you not your own selves how that Jesus is in you except you be reprobates. So Paul makes it clear a possibility that you can be reprobates. But I trust that you shall know that we are not reprobates. So Paul is not a reprobate. Now I pray to God that you do no evil not that we shall appear approved but that he should do that which is honest though we are as though we are reprobates but we are not reprobates means kukataliwa na bwana so tafsiri ya Kiswahili na kadhahiri waziwazi kwamba kuna hali ambazo ukienda vibaya unaweza kukataliwa na bwana so katika wakorintho wa pili sura ni 13 mstari wake ni wa 5 jijaribuni wenyewe kwamba mmekuwa katika imani jitibisheni wenyewe hao hamjijui wenyewe kwamba Yesu Kristo yu ndani yenu isipokuwa mmekataliwa lakini natumaini kama mtajua ya kuwa sisi hatukukataliwa nasi tuwaomba Mungu msifanye lolote lililobaya si kwamba sisi tuonekane e, tumekubaliwa lakini nyinyi e, mfanye lile lilojema e, tujapokuwa sisi tukama walio kataliwa. So kuna hali ambazo unaweza fikiri tulikataliwa lakini hatukataliwa ndio Paulo anasema. Lakini Paulo anasema kwamba mabaya mkiyatenda tafika mahali Mungu mwenyewe anawakataa. Aliwakata wanazo ile jangwani akamaliza wengine wote karibu milioni moja wakafa. Akajibakishia kizazi cha watu wachache. Ndio karuka ngambo hiyo ingine. Please is the same God. What he did then he can do in the now. And not that he can, he shall. 
So katika hali hizo watumishi walio saliti madhabahu, watumishi walio potosha watu, watumishi walio danganya watu, watumishi walio uza mioyo kwa shetani, watumishi walio uza vipawa kwa shetani, watumishi ambao walitumia kanisa vibaya, watumishi ambao wametumia e, injili katika hali ya kujitajirisha wenyewe, wakasahau mwito wakajiingiza katika e, katika katika hali tofauti na Bwana. Watumiki na Mungu tena, wakatumika na watu, wanatumika na vitu, basi hukumu yao ni dhahiri. Mungu amewakataa. So katika hali hizo vifo vitaonekana na itafanyika kwa haraka kwa ajili kuna hali ambazo Mungu ana atafanyisha uvuvuo. So kuna hali kwamba sahizi kuna watu wateule ambao Mungu anawatumia wateule. Kuna maombi ya wateule kuna maombi ya wateule maombi hayo ni ya kuwahifadhi maombi hayo ni ya kuwahifadhi so if you be one that God shall preserve please keep yourself in prayers lakini hukumu ya kuua watumishi wengi watakufa ma bishops ma popes ma bishops ma pastors ma reverends ma left or right center reverends walimu wa injilisti manabii mitume they will die God will harvest them. Jinsi maandiko yanavyosema. You doubt it, check Isaiah 59, verse number 12. So hivyo Kenya, jiwe ni Mungu kilio anasikia, but he hata tumika na watumishi wa saliti wa mwito. Isaiah 59 and verses number 12. Uh, it it made me tremble. So it says if you say maybe for our transgressions are multiplied before God and our sins testify against us for our transgressions are with us and as for our iniquities we know them watu unajua madhambi yao lakini hawatubu in transgressing and lying against the Lord and departing away from our god speaking oppression and revolt conceiving and uttering from the heart words of falsehood and judgment is turned away backward and justice turned away off for truth is fallen in the streets and equity cannot enter Hmm? So judgment is turned away backwards. That one is happening in Kenya's church. And justice standards are far off. That's why Kenya Kenya you can take someone's wife and go to a pastor. You are joined. Na pastor anawaambia tafuta bouncer. Mimi shule mwanaume mwingine asionekane hapa na bouncer na kodeshwa. Ana mimi shule mwanaume asionekane huyo mwanamke mwingine asionekane. Harusi inafanywa. That is Kenya for your information. Na guess who Rabba Stamps a bishop. Na police wanakuwa hired on lipa 1000 kila mtu beba bunduki. Mtu azilete fujo kanisani. So ndio hii bwana asema hajafurahia msari wa tisa. Because of that judgment is far from us. Eh? Therefore judgment eh? is far from us. This judgment is that kupima mambo. Neither does justice overtake us. We wait for light but behold of scarcity mm, that's verse number 9 then bible says mm, for brightness but we walk in darkness but then we grope for the walk wall like the blind and we grope as it uh, as if we had no eyes we stumble at noonday Eh? as in the night we are in desolate places as dead men now i'm reading for you verse number 8 verse number 9 verse 10 eh? however uh, verse number 11 says the way of peace they know not and there is no judgment in their goings they have made them them crooked paths whosoever goes therein shall not know peace kuna mapasta ukikutana na wao kuna watumishi kuna makanisa ukikutana na wao maisha yako itakuwa na amani tena 
So hizo ndio hali ambazo Mungu amekasirikia ndiye akataja katika mstari wa 11 verse number 11 verse number 12 verse number 13 eh 13 says in trespassing and lying against the Lord departing away from our God we speak oppression and revolt conceiving and uttering from the heart words that are falsehood is that your pastor is that your bishop ngoja kumuzika and judgment is turned away backward justice turned away far off for truth is fallen in the street and equity cannot enter hakuna haki ilisaulika yezi ingia hmm verse 15 you truth faileth and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey ukiwacha tu dhambi basi wewe unakuwa mawindo so ni heri uishi kwa dhambi usiwe mawindo so you find that our churches are dens of thieves we are a congregation of hyenas everybody ukikaa ambaye utakulwa na mwingine especially ukiamua kwa mndaka utakatifu unakatwa kukatwa so bwana kaiona the lord saw it and he displeased him that there was no judgment and that's why when bishops begin to die please know I should shed tears they are not worth mourning wanabaka wanawake ne walanguzi wa mioyo ne walanguzi wa vipawa wanazilangua nyota kama Ezekiel but hey, Ezekiel someone tell him i gave a warning for Ezekiel he won't live long hmm? <laughs> last year Ezekiel odero ibiro iki koka mati ikri ikrikend mlanguzi wa manyota za watu he won't live long the sword of god is coming to chop that man's head nilimwambia kitambo akacheza in fact what angered me most ni kuchezea prophecies hapa they got some bloggers then they played uh, something from here then they trended with it kwa tiktok it came to my attention aki aki ezekiel hautaishi we see who is a prophet than the other hiyo mali umetengeneza yote itakuliwa na parare watu wendeni mtakula hizo mali because the man will die the death of god sawa na yule there's a bishop in Nairobi ambaye alikuwa anadanganya watu anafanya muujiza mdomo ina bam bam i said a prophecy about death of such people did he not die so ngojeni ya Ezekiel when i talk like that nasikengo na jipanga na watu wengine huko kina nganga mwingine alafu wanarusha makombora nganga james nilimwambia Nairobi hautakaa so hata kiroga watu na laani watu please ah watu sio shida yako mmelangua hati za watu these are persons that have been stealing destinies za watu wanauza na they took advantage of foolish christians they took advantage of foolish pastors blind clergy and flocks wakawafanya faida wanakunyang'anya nyota yako original you are destiny original unauzia shetani wakishauzia shetani wanapewa mali na unapata kuna wakristo wa jinga wa ajabu that they sit under such a man atunda kusikia injili chunga zaida unakufa naweza kufa na wao maybe you save your soul of azali as now save your soul utoke and that's why kenya watu, watu ambao mlitembea kwa manabii hawa ukiona wanakatwa katwa kimbia kwa Mungu haraka sana ukitubu kimbia kwa haraka sana ukitubu because inchi ya Kenya ni inchi wakristo ambao wanapenda vitambara <laughs> maji ya chupa ya upako hata kama ni sewage watanunua inchi ya watu wanaopenda uganga na uchawi ambao inafunikwa na biblia eh? <laughs> uchawi inaofunikwa na biblia uchawi ambao inapewa thibitisho na maandiko eh, inchi ya Kenya inapenda hiyo sana wako na majority majority and uh, there are those who have been set up by the enemy to take advantage like James Nganga and Odero Peter Manyuru 
na mwai Edward wa mwai kina Pius Mwiru hiyo orodha ni mrefu ya watu mishi matapeli Aishi Munishi angewapata awaimbie awaimbie kule Tanzania alafu Tanzania ndio sasa yenyu inakuja mutasiagwa maana mnapenda kula mapooza ya watumishi wa giza you be shaken Tanzania mutatingizwa sana kwa Tanzania So mkiangalia wa Kenya vile wananyolewa please vichwa vinyu tieni maji eh maana Rolinga atavuno na Bwana Nae Tanzania kakande ataona vile atakandwa na Mungu. It won't be safe. For the wicked it won't be safe. Kila mtu jichikilie kwa Mungu wako kwa imani yako kwa Mungu. So Bible says here in um, so nikatangaza mauti na maafa here. So those are among us those ones. Plus how Mark Bishop nasikia saa hii. Instead of them being honorables to be overseers of the church. They wanashuka ati Mark Bishop pia anakuwa manabii. That's why Harrison has become a disgrace. A real disgrace. Now, orodha hii imeongezeka. Tuko na eh Archbishop mwingine amekaanga chini kazi yake ni kuongeza zile hata atakaye ni kuongea unasikia ameongea anaitwa nani? Hata kitonga. If the things ambazo Mungu ametufunulia sisi prophets tunajua tuna madoza ya zenyu hivi we have your dozers like this tukiifungua Kenya mtataka muende nchi zingine wanalangua wake wa watu mashamba za watu hmm dhuluma za serikali hao ndo wanakula matoki, ma faida za dhuluma za serikali kwa wananchi they have been given lands wanapewa mashamba wanapewa vitu And some of them are so old you wonder what they'll do with those things. Neri mtu wa Mungu baki na jinsi tu ubaki na vitu ambavyo Mungu atakupatia wewe nazo katika barabara ya utakatifu ufike mbinguni. Hmm? Sometimes riches that uh, we may acquire can be the greatest reason for our downfall. So much that we miss heaven. That's why mtu wa Mungu neri Mungu akupatie kiasi enye tafanya hautaibisha injili na siku, asikupe nyingi sana bali tafanya ukakufuru injili uka, ukafanya kudhihaki Mungu pia so we are called to be content kuridhika na kutosheka so Kenya mavuno inakuja na that's why wewe uliabudu masanamu jua asira za Mungu bado ziko kama una masanamu kwa nyumba yako rusha mbali sanamu ni hizo maji ya upako mafuta ya upako shanga za upako i saw a bishop mbaye is a pentecostal pastor but ako na hizi rosary za za ki hizi rosary za maria rosary za wa katholiki these are plastic za blue anavaa ndani ya kola uki na fichwa so you wonder between rosary na which mafuta are you using mafuta hii alejo hii mafuta ya katholiki na unachanganya hapa na unanganya watu na kola Those are called fetishes. Some many rings the pete pete. Hmm? Ita in a letter gadabu za Mungu Kenya. So you any Kenya. Haya mapigo ambazo mtunazipitia the place we are experiencing the nation. They are a judgment of God. So I remember I've told you tafuteni kila mtu kujinsi utajiwekea maji maana kuna mvua inakuja ikishanyesha na mafriko na hasara zake basi tunaingia kwa kipindi cha ukame cha muda mrefu sana so verses number 13 tells us in transgressing and lying against the lord and departing away from our speaking from our god we um kenya's clergy ended up speaking oppression and revolt they are conceiving and uttering uttering from the heart words of falsehood hapa ndio tunadai sadaka kila mara. Ukiona mchungaji ambaye mahubiri yake eh naona hata watu ambao kwa okay there are those ones who can die die sadaka because they will their bloggers eh their twitters their youtubers those are their services they can one is itisha pesa. Sisi hapa tunaitisha tu pesa kwa eh, 
kwa mipaka za Biblia only in fact we should not tell you bring money the bible will teach you should actually speak to you that you bring offerings we are not supposed to be t- t- telling you eh hey, leteni pesa leteni pesa tano tano kumi kumi weka 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 biashara hizo no so hizi ni judgment just just know kwamba mtumishi kama hawa ni wakora na ni wanyang'anyi and uh, if not for some things you won't even be seeing uh, hours online at ya watu kuweka sadaka you won't have seen hours but uh, just because some parts of the world i mean some part of kenya they may have uh, people want to like to give we don't muzzle them from giving but hizo uh, mchezo kanisa hii na huduma hii sisi hatuna verse 14 and judgment is turned away back when justice stands afar off and the truth is fallen in the streets iniquity cannot enter yeah truth faileth and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey and the lord say so it and it displeased him and there was no that there was no judgment 16 and he saw that there was not a man and he wondered that there was no intercessor therefore his own arm brought salvation unto him and his righteousness it sustained him verse 17 for he put on righteousness as a breastplate and an helmet of salvation upon his head and he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing garments of vengeance mavazi ya kulipiza kisasi ameji ameji valisha ili alipize kisasi hmm and was clad with zeal as a clock ikawa yeye ako na shauku ya kulipiza kisasi ndio mavazi zake hatari sana hatari sana that's the design god is visiting kenya hatari sana ukasema ati after ben hinas come all the nation is healed show me thy healing sikia vile sauti ya bwana inazungumza hapo msara 18 kadiri ya matendo yao kwa kadiri hiyo hiyo atawalipa ukali kwao wa mpingao so verse number 17 nasema atajivika haki kama diraya kifuani na chepeo cha wokovu kichwani pake atajivika mavazi ya kisasi yao ndio mavazi yake naye ali vikwa wivu kama joho kadiri ya matendo yao kwa kadiri hiyo hiyo atawalipa ukali kwao wa mpingao malipo kwa adui zake naye atavirudisha atavirudishia visiwa malipo visiwa watu ambao ulibaki kana kwamba wewe ni kisiwa Mungu atakurudishia na nikasema ni mwaka wa malipo asamu na haleluya So and according to their deeds according to uh, accordingly he'll repay fury to his adversaries recompense to his enemies to the islands he'll repay recompense so shall akishafanya kuua hivyo maana ghadhabu zake hizo na roho wa kisasi ndio hii anaiachilia after those kind of deaths have taken place Bible says the reason why such deaths will take place verse 19 so shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun that is east when the enemy shall come in like a flood the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him so wakati adui angelikuja kama garika basi wa Mungu atainuka atainua viwango dhidi yake hata hivyo Mungu atakuwa ameruhusu kisasi chake ghadhabu zake ifanye maafa na mauti Kenya na itafanya pia uh, kuwafikia wenzetu wa Tanzania na wenzetu ambao wa Uganda uh, sawa sawana na nchi zingine jirani but Kenya is on the spot Kenya is on the spot So if you are a pastor ambao unapenda mchezo nadhani kwamba kuhubiri ni biashara <laughs> kimbia upesi tafuta biashara ufanye 
wachana na huduma kama ukuitwa that part of the bible sehemu ya maandiko iliniwasha kana kama nawaza na kama naogopa sana baada ya kupepetwa inchi eh bwana asema msari wa 20 and the redeemer shall come to zion that means restoration and unto them that turn from transgression in jacob says the lord while you tub mungu atawakujia as for me this is my covenant with them says the lord that my spirit that is upon me or upon thee and my words which i have put in your mouth shall not depart out of thy mouth nor out of the mouth of thy seed nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed says the lord from henceforth and forever so that means restoration so this is the perfect picture that god shall bring uh now this will happen before uh, these are things will happen before rapture well i also want to kwambi i want to well the solar eclipse that uh is taking place uh will take place but those are among the signs of the world signs in the end times but the world is not ending on the solar eclipse so dunia ikuchi siku hiyo ya april tarehe 8 hapana but uh, be wise ndio kama ni siku za mwisho so i've given you proofs of the judgment of god that will befall the nation the purge Isaiah 63 verse number 10 nails uh, sends the last nail in the coffin of that judgment but they rebelled and vexed his holy spirit therefore he was turned to be their enemy and he fought against them who is that the anointed one the holy one of israel he turned around and became their enemy aisa sina tatu msari wa 10 maandiko yasema lakini wakaasi wakamhuzunisha roho yake mtakatifu kwa hiyo akawegeukia akawa adui akapigana nao so imagine mungu ageuke ndio hao adui wako there are times god becomes your enemy that's where kenya is now that uh, god is avenging for his name in the nation of kenya so wale watimishi walianza vizuri wakamaliza vibaya nikuvuna watavunwa so that uh, that um isaiah 63 Verse number 9 you may understand in the context of um, verse number 7 proceeding I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us and the great goodness towards the house of Israel which he has bestowed on them according to his mercies and according to the multitude of his loving kindness for he saith surely they are my people children that will not lie so he was their savior so you see god was their savior he banked hopes on them kenya god banked hope on you but your disappointment qualifies you verse number 9 and 10's performance in all their affliction he was afflicted and the angel of his presence saved them in his love and in his pity he redeemed them so we were redeemed and he bare them and carried them all the days of old we be, we were precious in god's sight but they rebelled after all that goodness we rebelled tuliasi tukarejelea baada ya matendo mema mungu kutufanyishia kama inchi tuliasi and find in kenya what do they are only christians because they want goodies dada kama jaoleka yeye ni dada katika yesu akioleka hivi amene na abdala sawa mungu tena ndugu ni ndugu tu kama ana kazi kwa nyumba ya bwana akipata hivi ameva busy spatting nafasi akifanya in fact nafanya kazi mpaka sande 
Hiyo ndiyo kanisa ya Kenya. Enye, enye pastor itabidi awe watchman because washirika walipingi mafungu. So pastor na hubiria maubiri daka kumina tano wanawa on Sunday mana amechoka. Usiku wanenda kwa watchman. Why? Mana kanisa majia wezi walipi mafungu na zaka. So lazima pastor ajitete. Kama wezi fanya hiyo basa atauza vitamba na, na maji. So buwana akaona muka sema hey mumenias. You have rebelled. Then he vest them. By his Holy Spirit. Mungu akafanya kuwa piga. Ha? Akafanya kuwa piga na roo wake. Yani roo wake kainuka na gadhabu. Akawagia ukia akawa adui ukwao. Therefore, he was turned to be their enemy and he fought against them. So, indio vita ambazo, itamaliza mapasta, itamaliza maskofu, itamaliza maskofu waku, itamaliza wahalimu wajanja na matapeli. Mungu atafanya tu hivi. Malaika wake wenye upanga, amewashusha. Well, if Ruto was my friend, nge muambia kitu, wakini kwa vile sasa ye na ya mekua kitu ingine. Maja kule judgment kivi yake. I love told them. Awa tungino na kuambia tutakuwa. Awana kitu. Sisi ndio tunakitu. Sisi kikuwon okopa sana. Awa chawi. Yawa itakushika maana wapi umeka mbaya. You see. Mkusa mbao umeka vibaya. Kama mtu wa dunia. Ukirogwa na mgangu na rogeka. Awa tasema kuamba mimi urogi ya inishiki juu ni meokoka. Urogi itakushika juu weni mweni mlokole mojanja. Mlokole ambaya mebas light. I have told you, kama wana masikio na usikia. Plegi hii ambayo inakuja, make sure kwa mba wewe, umajipanga. Make sure that you are sitting right. Let me leave for us there, so that those who have ears to hear, hear. Those who can repent, repent. Maana huku mbele, as I told you, siu kuzuri. I saw some people trying to kubembeleza shilingi wana ifanya, please. The judgment about the Kenyan economy and the Kenyan shilling remains. Izo the izo jamas na fanyo za kuneka na kwamba unabii ni bure apana. The forces that are actually trying to save the shilling are man-made. The judgment is of God. So saving the shilling is just temporal. Bado judgment iko. Sawa na kuambia Kenya power kwamba blackout itakuwa. Niliwambia blackout itaendelea kukua Kenya itakuwa na shida ya mamu na umeme for a long period. As long as you still have the captain presiding over at State House. Dear Jesus, this is your word. I have spoken it, Lord. May you grant my father God your favor over my life. And the Lord I have discounted from being a debtor. Today, Lord, I have paid it. I have uttered the, the prophecies, Lord. To the hearing of your people, let their judgment be upon themselves and not upon me. May my hands be clean. May you, my Lord, preserve me and my people, preserve me and my subjects from the judgment the Lord shall eat the globe. Thank you because you are faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray.